season. <laughs> we done by the time you guys already have it ignited. <laughs> We're all overcooked by a lot! Had an idea for a video. What do you think, Scott, about this idea? We've got a front of beef. A video that we've never done is how to cut a flat iron steak. We're gonna show you how we cut a flat iron steak. We're gonna start by just getting this flat iron broke out of here. Flat irons have actually only been, I mean, they've been around as long as the beef have been around, but they've kind of only been invented in the last, I mean, we only started cutting them like 10, 12 years ago. We didn't even know what a flat iron was 10 years ago. It's kind of an example of meat tech that came along. And some of those, um, some of those cuts, you know, they were, they were found and named on you know different parts of the country and then they kind of made their way uh demographically to this part so maybe we didn't maybe we knew what a flat iron was we just didn't have a customer to sell it to so just to clear that up beef chuck we've got the shank we've got the brisket we've got the arm we've got the chuck um so front quarter we're gonna get some flat irons pulled out of here All right, time to show you where the flat iron comes from and how it's cut. So this is the beef chuck, how it's cut and trimmed. So we're gonna start by removing this top layer of fat off here. This will expose that muscle, which then can be fabricated down into flat irons. You've probably seen us cut these before. We didn't like specifically make a video about them. So that's why we're doing it today. Just follow this seam right here on the top. Pulling that outer layer off. That's the mock tender right underneath here. Just going all the way down. Now that we have that off, we're gonna pull the muscle out. We're gonna cut into flat iron steaks. So right here, you have the shoulder blade bone that's right underneath, looks like right underneath these two muscles, looks kind of like a canoe paddle. So on this side, we have a flat iron. This side, we have a mock tender. And we're just gonna pull the muscle out and we'll trim into a flat iron steak. There's a bone right here in that shoulder blade. So you want to follow that bone all the way out like that. You want to get underneath this muscle. We just want to pull it out just like that. Get that nice clean bone pull. Now that we have it pulled out of the shoulder blade, we're just going to trim it up. It's like we got a nice one too. It's that nice, nice marbling in there. So we'll take the membrane off the bottom, take the membrane off the top. All the way down. Once we get the top and bottom cleaned up, Sun will come in. There's a gristle strip that runs right through the middle of these. Some places you'll see them where they cut them like, like a medallion, like a steak. They'll just cut right down through that gristle, but we prefer to trim them out and remove that gristle strip out of the center of these. So we just come all the way down on that side using that fish fillet method. All the way down on this side, removing that gristle right out of the center of these two pieces. Trim them up a little bit. Get 
And there you have two fantastic pieces to cut into flat iron steaks. Move just a little bit of that gristle. The way you have a perfect eating experience when you grill these up. It's pretty interesting when you grill these because they actually, um, they swell up. Maybe not quite double in size, but they, they swell up a lot during the cooking process. And they're super tender, super flavorful, super juicy. Certainly one of our favorites. So I typically cut each one of these into three pieces. And we'll stack them up just like so. So there you have some beautiful flat iron steaks ready for the grill. So today I have a surprise for you. We cut these here at White Feather Meats and our boys are constantly coming in and they always say, hey dad, you got any flat iron steaks? I wanna cook a steak. So these are pretty popular in our retail. Sometimes the kids get them before the customers do, but um, that's okay. They, they earn their keep around here. We feed them steak. So boys, I'm calling in the boys. I've got a challenge for them. How you doing, boys? Good. Good. What's, what's one of, I mean, you, you, you answer me. What's one of your favorite steaks here at White Feather Meats? Flat iron. Flat iron. Bingo. I knew they'd all say flat iron. I'm going to put these on the table. We're going to have a little challenge okay. today. You guys are cooking them. Okay. You get to pick your steak. You get to pick the way you want to cook it. You get to pick the Beard of Butcher Blend seasonings that you want to use. You want to use salt and pepper. You'll have to move somewhere else. I'm kicking you out of the house or you're gonna, you're gonna start paying rent. The steak you want, the grill you want, the spice you want. Okay. And then we get to choose which one's our favorite. Oh We're gonna score these one through four, may even have a little, a little prize attached to it. So boys, come on in, pick your four steaks, and don't be shy. It's like they kind of left you at the, well, that's, that's, that one might be that's a pretty good steak. I'm going to choose the, okay. Y'all gave me the short straw here, thanks. <laughs> you were in the back of the line. I, you were so, up here first. let me just introduce these guys real quick. Two are my boys, my oldest son, Luke, my middle son, Logan, and then these are Scott's boys, Benson and Brady, and they're all within six months of age. So they're cousins, they're super close, they might as well be siblings, and today it's a perfect day for some sibling rivalry. So boys, let's get them seasoned, let's go to the grill. We've got a bundle to tell you about, our sportsman, sportswoman bundle. As you know, we're avid hunters, outdoorsmen. Really, our foundation is in hunting. So we are debuting a bundle, which includes a sweatshirt, T-shirt, limited edition, original blend, but in camo, a koozie, and a sticker. We feel these are great products for you to put in hunt camp, put on your gear, wear out, maybe it becomes your new lucky shirt while you're out hunting. I know I have a lucky hat that I wear, so like Scott mentioned, camo, hunter's orange, not only does it have the Beard of Butcher logo on the front, but it has America's Butchers on the back. Available now our sportsman bundle all right luke what are you cooking on the traeger traeger what seasoning are you using the brock seasoning brock ben what are you doing i am doing the big green egg old faithful and i have a black seasoning okay brady also big green egg brock seasoning though okay logan big green egg and then i'm searing it off on the blackstone mm. and i'm using butter okay A light dusting. Light dusting. All right. Okay. Light dusting. Light dusting. Sir. Light dusting. Brady. That's not enough black boy. That is. Brady. <laughs> Why? 
So, if you take a gummy bear and slice it in half, is it called a gummy bear? A gummy bear? Yes. I need something to walk this with. It'll be done by the time you guys already have it ignited. Steak going on. I'm gonna redo that. I'm taking it. Okay. Hi, buddy. I told them I wouldn't get them any because they'll be too jittery. They're already all worked up, so. What's the plan, honey? Uh, to get her lighted up. Kite advantage. Don't not drop them. Don't not! He's adding your mother to the ingredients. I thought those were yeah. garlic paste? My treasure. You have garlic paste? Wait, Wait guys, you, you got help from your mom? Bro. No, she put guys. The... It's butter! Guys, go get the go get the uh lighter lighter thing. I mean, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, the lighter lo lighter. The no. lodi, life fi whatever you call no. it, lighter. Life 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 sponsor. Life. I didn't mess with your steak. I'll do it as chunks, so after it's done like cooking. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Mine is, um, mine's the little one. This is the big one. No, this is this Judge is, this Judy. Is, this is Julio. <laughs> no, is Julio. Who do you think is going to win right now? I have no idea. You, you guys are all losing right now. Go for it Oh, listen to that sizzle. Judge Judy going on. Sizzle, sizzle. Your steak's name drag. is Judge Judy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's yours? Um. 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 Logan's a shrew. I have no idea. Oh, you're putting the butter on The butter's now. just gonna go bloop. <laughs> or put it in the fire. <laughs> hey, man. Cheater. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What we guys? This is a good strategy, but mine is better. <laughs> if you touch my sauce, you are dead. <laughs> Where's the lamb sauce? Mine looks depressing. What Should I take bad? a peek? Yeah, take a peek. Take a peek. Sure. Product plugged. Go hey, buy. Whoa, 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 Go. that's got cobwebs on it. It, these don't come with uh, cobwebs, but go buy our spatula off the website. Are those for sale? Yes, sir. Actually? No. Are they? Dad, are these for sale yet? They no. are. Go to www.beardofbutcherblendseasonings.com. So no. What is it? Beardofbutchers.com. Beardofbutchers.com to get your spatula today. It has a little here, so you, I guess you can get that nice little... Has a little here. Sir. Hold on. Sir. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Stop. Look at that sizzle. <laughs> Ben's got a fork in the house. I got cheated on. <laughs> ben stayed oh, cheated Ben's on. Oh, Ben's is it. one. Whenever you're done with your spatula, you can grab yourself a nice crocodile cloth wipe it off. It's brand Stop new. It's clean as new. <laughs> you wanna play with it again? It's just, it's just healing up right there. <laughs> Wait, I need on. to take show, this. Show it again. I'm, I'm taking this out to the shop right now and I'm gonna grind that off so that way we don't have to. Much, much safer now. Let's get a look. Now nobody will have to. That actually looks way better. <laughs> get that. <laughs> Ben's is looking pretty fire. What are you doing? Dang it! Did Sir, you... that is that is crispy. Did you temp it? Temp uh, it. Uh, Logan, set it bring... back up now! It's done. It was at like 113. There's no way. That's at 113. Sear it up! I ain't got no gas in.
Wow. It was never on. You gotta, what it, happened? You gotta Just explain what happened. No, so I had these both on high because I was wondering why it was not turning on. I had to hit this button right here. It was just running the And gas. it just went. Boosh. And a little boosh. Huh? Shut it down! I, I don't think we lit our grill a very good way. Brady, what's your temp at? Like 112. I don't think we lit our grill very good because one it side is, is one, tall, a I'm one side's a volcano. Oh yeah, we're done, boys. Who took my thermometer? I think. Bro, we're overcooked by a lot. I butter will come into play for mine too. Oh, that is hot. Looks like LP, you got a cute steak. That ain't no flat iron. You stole my spoon again. My spoon again. It's a swimming pool of butter. That is swimming in butter. I know. <laughs> I put. You got a whole kitty pool of butter. Of butter. Buddy, oh, oh, oh. Oh, geez. Slicing already, man. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, this looks He's got the swimming pool. <laughs> I'm <laughs> She's coming up on the done, so I gotta do my last little. Mm, that's actually good. This'll win. Did you flip it yet? I shall say that. It's not done. I have to get new shrooms. Wait, you tried out these? Yeah. Did he give you permission? <laughs> no. You surprise it with a smack. Mm. It's just like a pancake. Oh, a oh. Why you put your hand on it? Okay, okay. Well, okay. Keep it, that was your hand. Yeah, put it there. I have sauce. I have sauce. Here on this piece is That's done. I'm, I'm tasting Shut it. her down, boys. Shut her down. Don't tell me these smell amazing. Don't tell you? Yeah, don't okay. tell me. Oh. What do you rate out of 10? 8 out of 10. Open. 8 out of 10? Eat it. Okay, here. Here, I'll give you a plate. Here you go, LP. Okay. Okay. That's pretty person. good. I'd say an 8. Alright, are all the steaks done and ready? How long should I let it rest? Be present. <laughs> you did put as much as Logan. <laughs> Logan, everything of Logan's is bathing oh, in butter. Oh, no. That's a good oh, oh, no, no sir. I got sabotaged. <laughs> that boy, eh, it's not much more done than mine. But you have the best crust, so maybe that'll. Did you try it? Yeah, it's best. out of ten. Um, I mean, it's. All right, we'll come back after for these. Decent. Solid ten. Here. Try Cameraman this. tax. <laughs> it's not. It's not. What do you rate that out of ten? Because it's not I, impressive. What do you um, rate it? I think I give it probably a seven or eight. So okay. LP's in the W at mm -hmm. range. Luckily, mine is a 10. Hey, look 7. at that. I have something to mark this stuff down, yeah, right? Sure. You got a thing? I have them labeled. Wow, so this you... one's got mushrooms laid on it. Just looks like it's cooked very well. Where's the rest of this steak? I <laughs> wow. So this is just a straight up taste test. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try them out. See one what over, we got. Ladies. Start, start with one and then we, go. We've go got. Right. Kenzie and Grace helping us today. We're gonna start with Excuse one and work game. our way down the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting soy out of that one. <laughs> soy or something. It's like a first initial just Wait, look. We're scoring on presentation. I, I'm just we're not scor we're not scoring on presentation, but I would say that these boys all did a fantastic job with their cooking because. None of it's overcooked. It's all nice, medium rare, but looks great. You're already on number two. He's on number three now. Number three. <laughs> Hop in there, ladies. I must say, it tastes like beef. I think it's unique. We have different styles that came through because we've got something added to this one. And then we've got the mushrooms on this one. This one's more straightforward. And then this one's like less seasoning. It's got a nice like a little bit of a, a bark char on it. Ooh, cooked to perfection, all of them. Good job, boys. Very good job. I'm, I'm wondering how, why you don't cook more at home. The way it worked is everybody ranked their steak from their first choice down. So if you were ranked higher up on somebody's or across the board, you got less points assigned, so like your first position, second position, first position. So, no further ado, the leader, the winner in first place was number 
two. <laughs> Looks like the mushrooms came forward. Who was that? Logan, the Good mushrooms job, did it for you. First place was number two. Second place was number three. Who was that? Me. Brady. Brady. Good job, Brady. Brady so, came through. Here, wait, let's back up a second. What did, what seasoning did you use? Butter. So butter and mushrooms. What seasoning did you use? Brock. Brock. So first place, butter and mushrooms. Second place, Brock. And we had in third place, number one. Who was that? That was Luke. They sabotaged you. They sabotaged you. We have some drama. We oh, have a no. scandal. Tell me how you got sabotaged because we know now a number um, four was four. My steak was purposely overcooked by them. Oh boy. <laughs> what did you use to season your your steak? I did the brock and then the secret sauce and then I just did butter in a pan, then did it a little bit and then I just put it on the grill. So brock, secret sauce, what, what was your secret sauce? Is it a recipe you want to reveal it's, or no? It's a, it's a secret, Grandma. It's a secret. It's it's a secret. 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 Okay. Well, what maybe are, maybe there's a possibility that um, we could turn that into a, a product that we could sell. Ooh. Tell, hey. tell us about your steak, Ben. What okay. seasoning and what happened? So, I got the smallest steak. Well, I well, chose so you got, it. You got ripped right off the bat. <laughs> I, I chose Sir, the smallest steak. I, I seasoned it normally. With and what? What did you season it with? I seasoned it with black, and okay. then somebody was hogging the spatula and wouldn't let me have it, so the one side was completely burnt off black, so I had to cook it on the other side, so it was a little extra charge than I wanted. It was to tough for me, because I actually preferred that, like, the the uh, the little bit of the char on the outside. I thought you did it on purpose. Either way, I think you guys did a fantastic job. So it sounds like Ben needs the, the, at least a hug because he, he's <laughs> feeling like one of To our panel of judges, thank you. And they're gonna finish up the steak, so. We've gotta figure out what, do we, what we're doing for a prize for these guys. Good job, um, boys. Everybody did a great job. We enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. The next generation Let's working do this. on some steaks. Let's do 25 bucks to the winner. Let's do, let's do 10 bucks for everybody else. That way you can go, you can buy a coffee, you can get whatever you want at your favorite sporting goods store. Uh, what do you think? That sounds fair. Does that sound fair? He's yeah. gonna have to pay for the mushrooms unless you get <laughs> that paid for them. You owe me a little money. Good job, boys. That was a fun one. Until next time, see ya.